Yes, viewers, uh, we are on Portacot Road now. We've just entered Portacot Road. You can see the condition of this road now. This road was looking very sweet. The first time it was newly constructed and the markings done on it, but now sun has overtaken the whole road. Well, I'm not surprised seeing these things on our road, but um, all we need is uh, the way out because definitely there is a way out of this. I don't see the rationale behind uh, you know marking the road after marking the road the road is overtaken by sands and the markings can no longer be seen so we want to hear from you let's know the way forward on this and uh, please share these videos let the authorities be aware of this and uh, you know do something about it we have been saying this thing for a long time now but um seems nothing is happening but i know that something will be done on this definitely something has to be done see the whole road overtaken by sands you know i said this thing earlier that uh, let's see how it goes after construction you won't believe that this is the same road that you saw on social medias you know that was shining looking very sweet and fresh so but this is the situation right now yes we know that uh, some of the adjoining roads are yet to be done and uh, you guys have been saying it that uh, except when the adjoining roads are done sand will keep coming yes um it's not out of place the the observations about uh, you know sand coming in but even if they come in, they can still be taken care of by sweeping. It can still be taken care of. After all, you bathe every day. You wash cars on daily basis or sometimes on few days. So why can't we keep our environment clean? Why can't we sweep our roads? I don't think uh, this thing has much to take to get it done doesn't have much to take if you ask me so i believe that something can still be done and something must be done towards this if not there is no need marking these roads in fact i want to suggest that the markings the road markings should be you know suspended for now until we know how to keep these roads clean because after marking the road, the whole thing goes covered by sand, which is not, uh, you know, good. This is Mr. Lem Street. You can see how lovely the road is now, but immediately they open it to traffic, the whole place is covered by sand. When roads are newly constructed and they are looking fresh and nice, that is the joy of using the road you know um, but when the road is being covered by sand it goes with a lot of consequences it can go as long as uh, damaging the road like this surface markings being covered by sand and a whole lot of them the road will be looking so old meanwhile it's a fresh road so honestly speaking there must be a walkable way out of this even if it means compound or as in each building contributing a certain amount to the government so that government can be using it to purchase equipment it's not a bad idea if government can uh, you know say each compound so so and so amount on yearly basis for purchase of machines sweeping machine and washing machines that will take care of our roads it's not a bad idea but can they be faithful on it people can be willing to pay but are they going to judiciously utilize the money to purchase these equipment that will be, that will be doing these works you can see this one now is neatly done 
but sand has overtaken the sides if the sides have been done actually okay, it seems that uh, they are working on it so actually when a road is painted it's supposed to be like this for a very long in fact forever that's how road is that's, that's how road is supposed to appear so now this is a silas walks road so we are moving along silas walks road it has been done and dusted you know the whole road is now looking very smooth and uh, you know sweet So it's not just that uh, sand, you know, usually cover the markings, but also um, it makes the markings to be very dull. You know, where sand have not covered, it makes them to be very dull. You know, so that calls for the need to sweep and wash the road with machines. All these things are not, uh, you know, big deal. I don't see any big deal there for for state government to acquire some of these mini trucks. So we are going to see how sweeping of road is done by vehicles like this uh, mini truck here. You are going to see how they are doing it. You can see the road is very neat. Oh. This road to me is neat, but you can see these small, small things they are taking care of them by sweeping, sweeping them off. I don't know how we get to this point, especially in Nigeria. I don't know how. Eh? Why are other countries far above, you know, what we have here in terms of uh, neatness? Just very easy and, uh, you know, and can cover a very large number of uh, kilometers within a short period of time. This truck can sweep, vacuum, and uh, wash. Yes, I think it washes also. So we are going to see how these things are done in a very short period of time. You know, more than manual sweeping, though some places can be manually encouraged. But some few places, yes, it's good that uh, they use mechanized way to handle them. So um, I don't see this thing as a very big thing in Anambra State here. If we want, we can have these machines, this truck up to 20 pieces. We can do it. We can raise the money. The government can do it. Don't see any big thing here. So the idea is to have a focused and determined mind to do these things. That's what I believe is the way out. So this is where the truck is discharging the waste. And this one is not, they will sweep and dump the waste by the side, then no. The truck has taken the waste outside where it is being disposed safely.
also it must not be government government individuals can still invest in this uh, idea of sweeping the road but it has to be in collaboration with the government even if it means compound each compound or each building bringing certain amounts every year or every month to give uh, to give the company that is handling these things is quite very okay so far it is judiciously done i think people are willing to pay people will pay up if there are individual investment on this and uh, you know they are doing the work people will pay i'm very very sure so um there must be a way out like i said these things are no big deal i don't see any big thing there you know it's just to make our streets to be very neat to look like where somebody is living if there is a way of keeping these streets to be very neat and the street remains like this after road markings it will give a lasting impression to visitors even to people living in the city it will give an aesthetic value and it will give a lasting good impression to anybody that visits this place and it will not take much to get it done i have said this thing earlier individuals can come in to invest in these machines and uh, with collaboration from the government monies will be paid by each building to take care of the streets that is the point okay so let's proceed this is still the other end of silas works you can see the road is now neat and very very fresh and fine well this drainage is still overgrown with bushes probably it has not been touched for uh, less than five years the way it's looking for this big drainage like this to have such accumulation it has been a very long time it was touched Mm. well let's proceed so we are now continuing our movement along portacourt road almost at the tail end of portacourt road earlier on you know how these places we are looking it's not motorable like that but now it is motorable at least one two steps have been counted you know we are not going to stop like that we need to move further in uh, environmental cleanliness you can see all these uh, zebra crossings their colors are fading and it's just some few days ago or weeks that it was marked well it's like putting the cart before the horse we need to get our streets to be clean first while you know marking the roads and uh, the whole lot of them so that uh, the markings can last but for now it seems as if uh, the paint using the marking is being thrown away So viewers, uh, if you have not subscribed to Yanga Life channel, please click on the subscription button, notification bell, let's hear your view about this video and please don't forget to share this video, people need to see it, let them bring their own contributions and solutions on how to tackle this problem of environmental you know, issues we are having in Anambra State. Thank you for watching, bye for now.